What's up guys, it's Oregon Motorcycle bringing you another awesome episode. Today's episode, we're talking about my car again. It is indeed broke. I have a 2A, 7A code uh, being shown after all the work. And in today's episode, I'm gonna tell you guys about that code on this car. And I'm also gonna tell you the symptoms and I'm gonna explain to you how I'm gonna fix it. So we're inside the car. It's a little more cozy. I'm going to start the car. If I have to move it forward a little bit more before I tear apart the top of the engine. So some of you guys may know if you guys are following my channel and you guys seen in my shorts, um, I recently did some maintenance on it. So the way this all transpired and what made me do the maintenance all of a sudden is uh, we were going out to dinner and um, it was last you know Sunday or whatever. And you know I, I pushed it a little hard on the freeway. We were messing around a little bit and. Um, I just, I felt like the power was a little bit off and I was like, hmm, that's kind of weird. Well, when we got off the freeway, uh, the car was literally screaming. It literally sounded like there was a little child underneath the hood screaming. And I was like, oh boy. And we were all the way out in Beaverton, about 20 miles away. And so I was going to get it towed home, but then I started, you know, Googling some stuff while we were at dinner and I was like, okay, okay. It's just, uh, it's a blown, uh, CCC, uh, CCV, uh, diaphragm. And you know, it's kind of like if you're blowing grass when you were a kid, you remember blowing grass through your fingers or whatever, kind of similar to that sound. So on this car, that's part of the valve cover. I needed to replace the valve cover gasket anyways. It's plastic. So when you do all this, you might as well replace the valve cover too. I also needed pulleys and belts at this time. So I figured, you know what? We'll drive it home um, and we'll park it and I'll buy the parts and I'll, I'll start, you know, getting the maintenance done. I also need the oil change. Well, we drove it home. It was fine driving home, but we stopped when we got off the freeway. We stopped at a light down the street here and it died on us. And then we turned it back on. It started right back up. And, you know, it was, it, a check engine light came on. And I thought, well, you know, it's something to do with the vacuum or whatever. I did notice too when we were, we were examining it in the parking lot in Beaverton that the engine was running rough, but I just associated that with the blown CCC diaphragm. Okay. So bear with me here, folks. So we get the car home, park it, blah, 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 blah. I spend, uh, you know, we spent almost $700 in parts on the car. <laughs> so, and I didn't buy, you know, cheapo parts. I bought, you know, decent aftermarket parts. And I also replaced the spark plugs and the coils along with the, the pulleys, the pulley tensioner and the belt. Got new valve cover and of course all the gaskets associated with the valve cover. So when I went to start it back up, which you guys will hear here in a minute, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys how this sounds. Uh, it just didn't sound exactly right. And as the engine warmed up a little bit, go ahead and start it here now. Um, it just didn't, it sounded weird. And then at one point as it's warming up, it's, it's, uh, it was like sounding like a diesel. And yeah, at one point I turned around and looked at it. I was like, it sounds like a diesel engine. So what I did is I ran and cleared the codes and I found a couple other codes there that was most likely associated with the blown CCC valve. Uh, one of the codes that came up in that bunch was uh, 2A, 7A. And so I cleared everything. Uh, I was running the car. I did several start and stops, you know, and I was ch I changed the oil too during this time. And then, you know, the check engine light didn't come back on. So I figured, you know what? If it doesn't come back on, I don't know. The engine sound a little different. Sounds a little funky. Maybe it's the pulleys I put on, you know, the new pulleys and whatever. So, um, so we went to dinner and I figured, well, you know, if the check engine light doesn't come back on, I'll just kind of leave it alone and see what happens, you know? Well, when we're coming back from there, the check engine light came back on, came home, ran the codes, the 2A, 7A popped up again, and I started Googling this, and my that's when my heart sank. <laughs> so this is a really big deal, you guys. Um, essentially, what happened is, the, the without getting too far into the Vano system on this car, there's a gear that attaches to the camshaft Okay, the camshaft opens your opens and closes your valves. The bolts that have to do with the variable timing that attach to the camshaft, those have sheared off. So the rattling is making the diesel sound that I'm getting here in the car. And um, there's a whole bulletin that BMW put out about this I didn't know anything about. They also extended the warranty. This car is probably, I don't know, six months to a year out of the extended warranty to fix this problem. I also spoke with a gentleman online and he had the same problem. This was about six or eight months ago, again, out of warranty. And he spent uh, over $6,000 getting it fixed. 
uh, at a at a at a repair shop, not at a BMW dealership, because they, you know, I don't know. So uh, it's a big deal, and uh, so let's get out now. I'm gonna, you guys are gonna hear what it sounds like. I may have to pop the engine to or pop the hood to get a little bit better sound. But you can hear it like right here. You can just hear, it sounds like a Vanos rattle like in some of the older M-series engines, the, like the M52 or M54. Do you guys know anything about those Vanos rattles? But, but now you can really hear it. So this is an N51, which is the same as the N52. Uh, you can hear that rattle that diesel sound. This is a 2A, 7A code on this car. And that's what we got. So if you guys are interested in my journey with this car, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be attempting to do all the work myself on this. So it's gonna be quite the undertaking. It's not something I'm exactly looking forward to, but I figured this is something that I wanted to share because there's not much information on the internet right now about addressing this problem or fixing it. I mean, there's information out there, yes, but I could only find, I couldn't really find a video that put the two and two together, right? And, and so I'm gonna make a video showing how I'm gonna repair this and, and, and go forward with this. But so this is kind of a big deal. It's kind of upsetting. I really love this car and I wanna keep this car for a long time, so. Uh, I'm going to go for it. I've already order, ordered the special cam lock tools. And um, so, yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out and watching this video. I want all you guys watching this video to, to uh, wish me luck on my journey. And if you guys are local, um, come hang out with me while I'm doing this and bring beer. And uh, we can shoot the shit while I, while I uh, <laughs> rip my beautiful BMW apart. <laughs> all right, folks. Until next time. Or your motorcycle. Griddle, griddle.